Hi, this is Lindworth playing games while rambling coherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with Arx Fatalis blind. Now, I have a riddle to solve here. Mm. Which is... Uh, to somehow adjust those symbols, but the problem is I have zero idea of what I'm actually doing. I'm trying to see if they correspond somehow with this, but I don't think they do. Mm. Now the ghost, when it was describing the riddle, it said something about the outside or like the earlier rooms? No, what was it again? So let's go back and try to figure out there were symbols on the outside but another problem is I think I'm missing one of the runes because I have those carved stones with symbols and there's uh, six symbols in the riddle but I only have five uh, rune stones so that might mean I'm missing one and uh, I would have to go back to find it Okay, is this even one of the symbols? I don't think so. I think it's it's a general stained glass window, which doesn't help me at all. Mm. No symbols on here either. There is very clearly a passage here. Presumably for later. Hmm. Is this a symbol or is this just a hole in the floor? It kind of looks like one of them, I guess, but. symbols are supposed to even be. Like those are all the same, those are just stained glass windows with the exact same design each time. And I don't see any symbols in here. sure I'm missing one of those so I might have to go back altogether like th throughout all of the previous levels to find that runestone first and then on top of that I have to figure out what to do which at this point I have no idea
can see. How do I go up while levitating? Can I even do that? So I wanted to see uh, if there's something on those ledges up here that could, could possibly help me. But how do I... Is there a separate uh, binding for up? It can't be that levitation only allows me to weakly... Oh, I guess it can. Uh, that's kind of what levitation is. They're just weakly flying a bit above the ground because otherwise it would be flying, right? And not necessarily levitation. So... And on top of that, I, I am pretty sure I'm missing one. So I will go back and look for it. I'll speed it up. Four, five, six. 
Okay, great. So I think that's all of them. Mm. But I still don't know what did I what did I actually open, for example? stick right here. as well. So it's almost like it was trapped here because th there's a, there are spikes on the ground and whatever. It's uh, pretty weird, I must say. What's the point? This chicken has to be somehow significant, right? Because it was locked be behind this uh, lever, this gate, those spikes. And there is a whole chamber dedicated to a chicken. Like... Not to mention, I'm not sure what's up with that. There's clearly a, a further passage right here, but can't open it. I wonder if it's maybe like a person. It's someone who's, uh, I don't know, cursed to be a chicken for eternity, like as a, as a punishment. Like if I cast this spell on it, would something happen? this. Uh, let's see. Huh. Lord Inut. So I guess somebody was cursed to be a chicken for all eternity. Uh, and also there's a key. Let me pick that up before I forget. Oh. Wait. I have to do that all again. Kind of annoying, but hmm. but he's still just j j just clucking. How do I actually talk to him? Maybe negate magic. Okay, clearly there has to be like a quest with him or something, but how do I make him able to talk to me? Hmm. 
still just clucking. Okay, I don't... Hmm. It annoys me that I don't know what to do, but I will remember it, I'll, I'll try to remember it, and maybe I will, like, I don't know, learn more about him later and be able to come back. Okay, so this is an alternate way, uh, which leads... Mm, to here, but I don't mm, want to even leave yet. So let's go back... Oh, wait, can I? Don't tell me I can't. This is pretty interesting with the chicken, but also kind of frustrating because I don't know what to do. But um, I have gathered the sixth rune stone, so I can return to trying to uh, solve the freaking puzzle. Which I still don't have any idea how to actually do, but well, I guess I, I, I have made some progress by finding the missing rune stone at the very least. symbols on the tombs? Oh, actually, maybe I need to cast like a reveal? M maybe they are hidden. So... symbols around here. Hmm. Hmm. There are st six stained glass windows and there are six symbols as well, which Might be somehow significant. Are those co 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 correspondent somehow? Hmm. I think they are, because this is clearly one of them, right? This is a, a crescent with a dot. And this is just a crescent. Hmm. So I, I, I think I need a piece of paper. So be right back, I'm going to fetch some. Okay, so I've gotten a piece of paper. Uh, let's cast the vision spell. What was it again? Uh, this. So that would make sense, right? Because there are six of those like compartments or, or six rooms. Uh, and he said coming from the west towards the south or uh, no, coming from the west towards the east or something. So I guess um, the orientation of, the, of that chamber 
with the symbols is I think the same as it as it was it, it is with this one with the entrance being uh, you know right like this and the way forward being there so I'm going to write it down in that order so where was the first one wait there has to be one here as well right I could have sworn I already saw one well, I guess I can make this later by a process of elimination if one of them is missing but wait wait, wait am I going insane like th there was a thing magic here uh, a crescent I think Okay, there, there is suddenly a crescent here. But, but there, there was a crescent with a dot, right? In the previous room. Am I going mad? Like, what's happening? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay, there is like an... Like a table or something. Uh, right here. Like a sun. Mm, and this is mm, like a circle with a dot. I could have sworn I saw other other symbols on the other side, right? Like, am I slowly going in the side? Hmm. Yeah, right. There is a there is a crescent here, I've noted that. But there was a crescent with a dot as well, right? Ah, okay, it's here, it's just rather difficult to notice. Okay, so a crescent with a dot um, in here. didn't help. Mm. So this is like... Uh, I don't know how to describe that, but I'm going to uh, roughly sketch it. So I have it written down then. Let's try getting to through the chamber with the symbols. There you go. Hmm. 
So, uh, three symbols on one side and three on the other. Now, are they supposed to face outwards? You know, the the correct one. Is it supposed to face outwards or inwards? <laughs> I would say outwards would put them closer to where they actually are. So I'm going to try and that that first. Uh, crescent with a dot. And a regular crescent. And then on this side, it's like a table. And then a sun. And then a circle with a dot. Oh yes, very good. You're on the right track. Now, put each honor stone in place to correspond with its related house. Now, I just have to find out where each stone belongs at the base of the columns. Okay, so that should be trivial enough, because this is the table thingamajig. Let's combine. Unless I'm supposed to just lay them, but that would be weird. And kind of counterintuitive compared to the previous puzzles. I don't think this is the correct way, but it doesn't combine with this, right? I'm going to check with the correct one. So for example, a crescent here. It doesn't combine, and it doesn't combine with this either. So, I am a bit confused. Let's try finishing it this way. And if it doesn't work, then I will start worrying. And the sun here. Mm. Okay, it doesn't. Mm. Didn't work. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. I, I don't think just laying them on there is going to do anything, because I'm not sure if, if the game is even uh, capable of tracking that. Like, I, I didn't... I was under the impression I need to combine them. Hmm. Unless it's the opposition, maybe? That, uh, although that wouldn't make that much sense, would it? Like, maybe I actually have to... But I don't think the game even tracks that be entirely honest. And I don't think it can. Hmm, 
I guess it can. I guess I underestimated it. Okay. I guess this is the exit. In case I'm feeling like... Oh wait, 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 wait. What's the purpose of this? Oh, okay, it just goes to a totally separate uh, part. Well, let's make sure I left nothing in here. shield of the ancients and the corpse. Well, unfortunately I do need the shield. Mm, literally I needed to save the world, so I feel like I'm kind of excused uh, for grave robbing in that regard. Creates considerable damage around the spellcaster. Okay, potentially interesting. Raise dead. Create field. Disable trap. Okay, so I guess there is no shortcut to get out of here. I have to literally walk all the way back, which is a bit annoying, but I can take it. What? I don't understand what he said. I guess I'm not getting into this sarcophagus then. That's it. Maybe maybe, maybe it doesn't matter because I would most likely not steal from it anyway. I was just interested in the shield. Okay, I'm kind of screwed because I did, didn't prepare any spells. I wasn't expecting him to be able to withstand three fireballs. Mm, tempus. So that's time. Will I have the opportunity to slow time? That would be kind of awesome. 
Yeah, indeed. Time slow down, slows down for everybody. Uh, but the cast... Uh, Yeah, but how does that second symbol go? Ah, oh, it's like a wiggle. Uh. Okay, we'll maybe practice it later. For now, let me just get out of here. I was here long enough. Is it though? I don't remember that well. But if it is, then, it, then it's this part, I think. Or this part? We'll have to go there and check. A special key, a sacred dagger pass. So I did remember it correctly. Mm, let's go to the rebel leader and give her the shield. I'm also looking for a for a one-eyed man who's apparently guilty of murder. My spies tell me that you found the shield. Is this true? You see, we infamous rebels aren't as bad as we're made out to be. Okay, have it. Here it is. Oh, I'm Shigar. You have no idea. You see, this shield is much more than just a magical artifact. It is the shield of my grandfather, King Poxellus. Grandfather? So you are... Aaliyah, daughter of King Loonshire and Queen Florence, Princess of Arcs, at your service. Why do you stay in hiding? How can you stay with these people who kidnapped you and killed your mother? These people are my protectors and bodyguard. The secret order of the Sacred Dagger, founded by King Poxellus himself. Their only mission is to protect the royal bloodline. They did not kill my mother. They found me near her body shortly after my birth. To this day, no one knows who killed her. Why are you still in hiding? Before my birth, the Sacred Dagger discovered that the Snake Women of the Order of Adernium wanted me dead, though they could not determine why. They orchestrated my kidnapping in order to preserve the kingdom's legacy. They considered using the Traveler's Guild to take me away from Arx, but the Order has agents everywhere, it seems. Does your father know any of this? No, he's not even aware that I'm still alive. As far as he knows, the Sacred Dagger is nothing more than a band of dissidents and malcontents. And frankly, I would be happier if it stayed that way, for his own safety. Promise me you will not breathe a word of this to him. I will honor my word, of course and instruct the guards to let you into the dungeon where we keep Crow House. Use it well, stranger. Okay. Hmm? What should I do? 
Well, so let's go then into that restricted part and pick up the artifact I need to save the world. Wait. I'm pretty sure it must be somewhere this way, right? Because I wanted to go here before and they said it's a restricted area. Good day to you. Good day to you. Okay. successful attempt. It's too complicated for me. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Not really a very successful attempt. I cannot open any of them. Uh, and this... Okay, I'm pretty sure I wasn't I'm not supposed to do it like that. So let's go back. Okay, Krahos. So I need to equip them both. For, for their for, for their full power to manifest and with that I guess I'm ready to attempt to go to the temple of Akba again now that they have Krahos and Zoark it is time for me to return to the temple of Akba and destroy the meteor once and for all I somehow doubt it's going to be so easy Presumably there's at least one more curveball thrown at me before that, but still, I did make some progress. So how do I get to the temple again? Oh, it can, it, it, it leads me to the yogurt tunnels, which is not where I want it to be, but it's pretty close to a teleporter. But where was the temple though? I don't remember. Okay. 
something there. I think I have a scroll of telekinesis. So let's try using it. What is that? Ring of magic resistance. And I think, I guess that's it. Uh, darker ring of magic resistance. Plus 20 protection from magic, armor class minus 20. Okay, that's nothing spectacular to be honest. It's impossible. Mm, there's one more uh, sort of loose thread, which is. Mm, the treasure hunt? What? One of the rat men just randomly attacked me and then fled. Which I'm not going to lie is pretty annoying because I don't have an antidote. But uh, there is a treasure hunt mentioned here. Traveler, if you want to take part in my treasure hunt, you will need an emerald to open my chest. Oliver, I have an emerald and I would very much like to take part in the treasure hunt. But the problem is, I don't know where Oliver's chest is. And I don't know, you know, I don't think I met Oliver. Uh, so, overall, I don't know what to do. Mm, and I feel kind of bad about that because I'm very much a fan of, of those treasure hunt type quests. He wounded or drunk? The more I drink, the better I feel. Well, I guess I guess drunk is the answer. It seems that the goblins catch people and then sell them again. Okay, so this entrance is still available, which is great. I guess I I, I would like to try one of the stronger spells. Especially if there's like a boss type encounter, I might actually need it, you know, fireball might not cut it. So... Okay, so we have a mass incinerate type of spell prepared. Oh! Okay, this is not going to happen. That's Akbar trying to entice me to his service. Uh, but regardless, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save here and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!